Scheduling, of course, that's very important, and uh, we would like to use CIMIS to tell us how much. It's, it stands for California Irrigation Management Information System. It's on online. Growers can use that. They should be using it. They'll tell us exactly how much water to be using. And for when to water, we use tensiometers. We use things like water marks that are the same as tensiometers, capacitance meters, and, or just a plain old shovel that helps a lot to tell the grower when to water. We use a very simple device uh, called a tensiometer. Uh, this is invented back in the early 1950s. Now this is what the, the tensiometer looks like underneath. It's a porous clay cup here you know, the tube filled with water and uh, as the roots try to pull water out of the porous clay cup it tends to pull the water column down and then that will turn the dial here. And you can see the dial. Um, zero is, is here and then uh, it, it goes, it climbs, 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 climbs and then we'll turn the water back on the needle will drop down again. And our soils when it gets to be about 20, 22 to 25 on the dial for avocados when we irrigate citrus uh, we can let the numbers go a little higher up to maybe 30 to 35. Another way to measure soil moisture is just to use a shovel. Pretty simple method. Um, we'll just take a slice of soil down here. I usually like to go about six to eight inches down, take a handful of soil, make a ball in my hand like this, and when I open my hand up, the ball stays together, that's, that's a good moisture. That's a good moisture. If the soil starts to fall apart, and that's not doing this right now, but if it starts to fall apart, that's about when the grower wants to irrigate. Sometimes I've picked up a ball of soil, open my hand, and all the soil disappears between my fingers. That's way too dry. Strategically cutting back the water, uh, it doesn't work for avocado. We found out the water cut back, it just reduces the yield. But it does work in citrus. If we can cut the water back, uh, to, you know, down, down to about 25% of your required water between May and July, uh, you can actually not reduce the yield, uh, believe it or not. So uh, that's, that works a lot. It works very well.